Holes in your tree's trunk can be a cause for concern. But if you're seeing holes in a straight line, you're probably seeing sap sucker damage. In this edition of What's Bugging My Tree, we'll talk a little bit about sap sucker damage, what causes it, and what you can do about it. Sap suckers use their beaks to peck holes in trees. These tend to be pretty small and shallow, and they're in a really distinctive pattern. They're gonna be in a straight, orderly line most of the time. Uh, most of the time this is horizontal, but sometimes it can also be vertical. After pecking these holes, the bird will then lap the sap that flows out of them with its tongue and drink that. This is very different from the type of holes that would be caused by insects. Whenever I get an email about a maple tree with holes in it, I'm relieved to see that it's sap sucker damage, that it's holes in a clear line, instead of something more damaging like the Asian longhorn beetle, which would have holes that are in no clear pattern but large holes and can really damage trees rapidly. It's an invasive we don't want to see here. Favorite tree species of sap suckers um, are anything that has sweet sap and thin bark. Just like we enjoy maple trees with their syrup, sap suckers do as well, but they also will feed on a wide range of different tree species, from birch and elm to sweet gum and even yellow poplar and many other species. In addition, lots of other things can be attracted to the sticky sap that's produced when these sap suckers peck into trees. Um, whether it's other wildlife or insects or even the sooty black mold that you'll see on the side of trees. If you're seeing this damage in the eastern U.S., it was probably caused by a yellow-bellied sapsucker. It's a species of woodpecker that's common throughout this region and migrates, spending its winters further south and moving north in the summers. There are actually three other species of sapsucker, but these are native to the western part of the U.S. Sapsuckers have a sweet tooth and they use their beaks to poke holes in trees and then their tongues to lap up the sap that flows from those holes. The yellow-bellied sapsucker has a red crown and, as its name implies, a somewhat yellow-colored belly. However, that can be hard to see, in part because it's not a very bright color yellow, but also because these birds will spend their time clinging to trees, hopping up and down them uh, with their bellies pressed to those trunks. Sapsuckers are a type of woodpecker, and there are other woodpeckers out there. Most of these don't eat the sap, but are actually eating insects inside of those trees. So when they're digging around in trees, what they're looking for is larvae. If you're seeing larger holes, that might be what they are. In addition, they might make larger holes for nests. We've seen a lot of this after the arrival of emerald ash borer, where you have ash trees that have lots of larvae in them, and you have woodpeckers and other wildlife that are trying to eat them. The yellow-bellied sapsucker is a native bird, not an invasive species in a normal part of our systems. In general, we love wildlife, we love bird watching, but the yellow-bellied sapsucker can really try your patience, especially if it's feeding on a valued landscape tree. Most of the time, they don't cause much damage and it's a relatively minor issue. But sometimes if there's a lot of damage, and sometimes birds do favor particular trees for whatever reason, it can seriously impact the health of those trees. However, these are protected species. They're migratory birds. So even if you wanted to do something to them, you can't. <laughs> Instead, a better strategy is to discourage them from feeding or to scare them off if they come. You can cover valued tree trunks with burlap or different meshes, and there are different kind of tools to help you scare off birds, whether it's hanging reflective um, items in those trees or other repellents. While this is possible in some cases, it's certainly not feasible in all and not something that you could do across a large number of trees. In general, while those birds don't damage the tree too much, they do create wounds that are perfect entry points for decay, fungi, and other issues. So promoting the health of your tree can go a long way towards giving them the ability to fight back um, anything that might enter through those wounds. In general, sap suckers aren't a major concern for the health of your tree, and a better option might be to sit back and enjoy the wildlife. Thanks for joining me today and learning a little bit more about sapsucker damage. If you'd like to learn more, make sure to check us out online and follow us on social media.